Welcome to Daily Logistics. In this video, we are going to talk about CUST DEC. Without further ado let's get started. CUST DEC stands for Customs Declaration. What is the use of Customs Declaration? Every country has a border control body to control the goods flow, from the country, and to the country. As importers and exporters, you must declare the importing or exporting goods to the customs of your country. The Customs Act is the main border control body. The customs have their own format which is internationally agreed to fill the details and submit as the declaration. This format calls a customs declaration or commonly known as CUSDEC. The payable duties and levies of the cargo can identify after feeding the data to CUSDEC. The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, UNCTAD, has introduced the CUSDEC to smooth the customs work process and have a uniform system in the world. What is Asikuta system? UNCTAD has introduced the Asikuta system with the intention to support customs management. Asikuta system contains facilities including customs declarations, manifests to handle day-to-day -day work, and other analyses. Asikuta's latest version Asikuta World introduced in 2016. Let's see who are the users of Asikuta in a country. Customs. Customs house agents. Shipping lines. NVOCC. Freight forwarders. Government agencies. Ports, terminals. For more information on the Asikuta system, please visit www.asikuta.org. I will put the link in the description. What is CUS DEC framing? The process of filling a customs declaration is simply called the CUS DEC framing. CUS DEC framing should do in the Asikuta world system. What is entry passing? After the CUS DEC framing completes, the next step is entry passing. Arrange all the documents related to the cargo and submit them to the customs. Customs will check the document and approve it for clearance. This process calls as entry passing. Here related documents include Duly filled CUS DEC, delivery order collected from the shipping line, cargo invoice, packing list, special approvals from other authorities if any, similar to T-board approval, or import and export control board approval. Certificates like Certificate of Origin, an Analytical Certificate, Bill of Lading, etc. What is Cargo Clearing? After the entry passing completes the next step is to do the cargo clearance. Customs officers will double-check the document set and will examine the cargo and cross-check. Under Clearance, officers check whether the cargo matches what is in the documents. After the examination customs house agent or CHA can pay the warehouse rent and other charges of the port and take the cargo out. Who prepare the customs declaration, and do the CUS DEC related work? Customs house agent has access to the Asikuta system to frame the CUS DEC. Further, responsible for document passing and clearing. That's all for this video. If you like our content please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.